Hey guys, welcome to video number two of my quarantine video series. Uh, I'm making dark beers this weekend because it's dark times. So today I'm making an Irish stout and yeah, it's, you know, I just kind of threw it together with what I had. So we're going to use uh, some Turo, a tiny bit of Pilsner malt, um, chocolate malt, Carafa 3, Caramel 60 and Carapils because I'm kind of just going through what ingredients I have and hoping a beer comes out of it. And I got some Irish ale yeast in my fridge. So yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm using LA tap water run through a pure filter with a Camden tablet because I'm out of uh, RO water and I'm afraid to go to the grocery store. So yeah, uh, let's get this started. So I'm just putting in seven gallons to make a five and a half gallon batch. And I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of gypsum to kind of dry it out. You know, I wanna dry Irish stout, so we're gonna go towards that profile. My water's already got a lot of stuff in it and I ran it through the Dublin water profile and it suggested I just add about two grams of gypsum, so I'm just gonna use the cap of the uh, container to do it. Okay, so about that much. All right, now I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna do a mash at 150. I'm gonna probably drop a little lower, but I like a nice dry stout, so. That's what we're going to make. So this is my Irish stout I just kind of pulled together with random ingredients. Um, so I'm calling it Get Them Snakes Out in celebration of St. Patrick's Day, which is tomorrow, I think. Um, and I know most people's celebrations got canceled and whatever, but you know, we're all doing our part to stay safe. So um, I am going to brew this beer so that I can drink it while sitting in quarantine. So uh, our grain bill is five pounds two row, one pound caramel 60, one pound carapils, one pound chocolate malt, one pound pilsner, one pound white wheat, eight ounces of Vienna, and four ounces of Carafa 3. As you can tell, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. So hopefully it turns out, eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So this is our two row. Pilsner. Okay, white wheat. Caramel 60. Carafa 3. It's funny how so little dark malts can make a black beer. Vienna. Carapils. And finally, chocolate malt. All right, so I'm grinding this really fine still, as usual. We're just gonna get right into it. On to making beer. So, all right, we are at 150 degrees for our mash. So I'm just gonna pick this guy up. I guess I should introduce, this is my assistant brewer today, Hello. Ashley. Hello. 
thank you for having me. So we're gonna mesh in now that it's one fifty. Ash runs uh, Women of the Bevolution on Instagram. Go follow her. She's oh, rad and does thank a lot you. of things with women in the beverage industry. And now that the beverage industry is just like kaput, who knows? Who knows? We're all unemployed. Well, at least we can homebrew, so that's all that matters. We can make hooch. Yes. We can do that. Okay. So, do you want to, since you're so tall, you can actually like lift it up. <sighs> you like to work out. I do. And all the gyms are closed, so. You're good at them. Okay. Woo! Alrighty. We did it. Did we it. did it. Looky there. All right. So I'm just going to turn the pump on and we're going to set a timer for 45 minutes and we're going to go to the liquor store and see what they've got left because San Francisco's now shut down. So woo! So, LA's next. Stock up on your booze, people. Yeah. Stock up. Beer is food. Oh, it's going to be my food because I didn't buy any groceries, that's for You're sure. You're nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to take a gravity reading to get our pre-boil gravity. Um, it should be pretty low. And I'm going to pull the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my heat up. And we're gonna get this guy to a boil. So my pre-boil gravity is looking right at about 10.3 or so. So the pre-boil we were aiming for was 10.047, so I'm just gonna check in on that on my Brewfather app. So we're at 1.043, but I've got a ton of liquid in there, so I'm not worried about it. For, so for hops for this one, we're going to use a quarter ounce of Target at the 15 minute edition. And at 60 minute, we're going to use one ounce of Challenger. Perfect. Because that's all I had. All right. So we're boiling now. And our first edition is one ounce of Challenger. Okay, so it's been uh, 45 minutes, and I'm going to dump my Target 0.25 ounces and my Werflock tablet in, and I'm just going to set up my chiller now and get everything connected in the last five minutes, or in the last 15 minutes. Okay, so this is all done. I'm gonna turn off my heat, uh, start my water, and start my pump. So this is now at 68 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer into my sanitized spike fermenter. Turn my pump back on. And I'm gonna aerate it the same way I always do by just making some bubbles. So uh, here I have some Irish ale yeast in a tiny little 16 ounce starter and I'm just gonna throw that in. Actually, you know what, I'm not. I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna take my original gravity.
Okay, so the original gravity is about 13.8. So we might have actually exceeded our original gravity. Um, I need- Original gravity is gonna be a 1.051. Okay, so yeah, we beat that. We beat the crap out of that. So I can tell you that the reason we beat our original gravity is because we boiled the crap out of it. And we got a little bit less um, volume than we were aiming for, but I'm not mad. All right, I'm gonna call it. All right, so we got, we only ended up, up with about four and a half gallons, but um, that's why our original gravity is so high. I mean, I could water it down, but I used uh, non-RO water, so I really don't want to put more of my own tap water into it. So we're just going to have a slightly higher Irish stout. We're going to call that an extra Irish stout. So I'm going to pitch my yeast. I have some Irish ale yeast in a really teeny starty, just about 16 ounces. I'm just going to throw her in there. All right, throw on my sanitized lid. If I can get it on there. Where'd my air lock go? All good and we're done and I'm gonna go drink some whiskey to celebrate St. Patrick's Day happy St. Patrick's Day and like and subscribe oh what is happening I didn't tear that we're gonna be just washing our hands endlessly get out of our space no. personal space oh god are okay. we too close are we Personal? No, I don't know. This is not big. Kelsey had a stick yesterday she was trying to hit people with. So, I'm gonna make sure your head's in I think you're too tall. Am I being cut off? Ashley is much taller than me. Hello. Hello. Okay, I just wiped my face. So that's. still cut off. Stand up. Do it. How are you so fucking tall? Here. Do we get that on the stool? Just Here. Wait, okay, no? Okay, perfect, perfect. How are you so tall? Anyway. Hey, good, this is my workout. I'm gonna send her. Okay, what? And are you live streaming me? I hate you. I hate you so much. I, you gotta warn me about these. I things. said the same thing when Martha hey, was live streaming. Hey, will you, will you look at the uh, original gravity? I mean, you should at least live stream me on my own fucking account.